John here guys and today we're talking about the Esheen and Emacs collaboration that's right the Interceptor race vision <laughs> kit now if you are an fpv pilot or you're just starting to get interested in fpv now what is fpv it is first person video that is piloting any type of craft um, by looking through goggles seeing through a camera feed that is fed into those goggles and using that to navigate as if you are a pilot or in this case a driver in this tiny little rc car that emacs has made now um, this was a really exciting thing when it hit the scene. I had actually already been experimenting uh, with FPV RC cars for quite a, a bit. I had a little kit that I bought, a $12 RC car, put a little Whoop camera on it, and it was endless amounts of fun inside of my house. Uh, and now you can buy this kit for just over a hundred bucks and it comes with the transmitter to be able to drive this thing around it has a fpv video system it has a tiny little camera right there at the top right where the driver would be sitting so you get a perfect driver's point of view in this little race car and it has a video transmitter on board that transmits the signal to emax's first person video goggles now these are the same goggles that I reviewed in the Emacs um, Easy Pilot Kit. These are perfectly um, serviceable set of beginner goggles. They are box style goggles, so they fit on your face just like that. Has a little screen in there, and then you put the antennas on here. It has buttons in order to change the channel, so you change your channel to match this, uh, and then you can go out and drive. Yes, you change your channel. What does that mean? That means that if you have a whole crew of buddies with this, you can all switch yourself to different video broadcast channels and race probably up to six or eight different people at a time. Outstanding. So if you're wanting to dip your toe into the amazingly refreshing FPV waters, but you have heard how hard and how difficult of a learning curve it is in order to fly a quadcopter this is your chance to be able to do fpv in something that anybody can do which is drive a little rc car around now a couple of quick notes comes with some instructions as well it comes with you know a usb cable a little screwdriver and a little extra screw for the battery holder it comes with a one cell 300 milliamp one cell um, battery, I already said one cell, and it comes with the little battery. There is an 18650 cell in this battery, but you don't have to take it out because it can charge via USB and that powers the goggles. The radio is powered by three um, AA batteries, so that's very easy to get it going. This is a pretty basic radio. It has a trim function on there, um, but that's pretty much it. It's just turn it on good to go it's already bound up to the car as soon as you get it and then you know you can see when you turn on they have the little lights flashing inside and it is ready to go and you can see you have your steering you can adjust the trim if needed mine was pretty much locked in out of the box now there's no external antenna on here and there's no big antenna that comes off of this thing so you're not going to get like too long of a range but for flying inside of a house inside of an office inside of a warehouse this will work plenty fine. I think the range on this is probably going to be somewhere around 80 to 100 yards in my testing, which is, you know, pretty decent for a little tiny RC car like this. In a lot of the videos and pictures, it looks a lot bigger than I thought. So I'll put some video up compared to like the Emac Tiny Hawk 2 and a couple of tiny whoops. So it's bigger than a whoop. It's probably about the size of like a three or four inch quad um, if you wanted a size reference. Uh, one really cool note, I'll put a picture on the screen, is that the one-celled um, 450 milliamp hour batteries that go on the Tiny Hawk or the Easy Pilot Kit fit in here. It comes with a tiny little 300 milliamp, but you can fit those larger 450 milliamp batteries in here to get even extra drive time. So you can be driving around your house, annoying your pets, annoying your family like no other. Uh, I went with the Esheen version of this kit uh, because instead of the red color, I wanted the blue. I usually drive a lot more blue cars 
and I really like this color scheme on here. This has been such a blast to play around. I think I'm actually going to hold on to this, guys, and keep it because I always want things in the house that I can give hand over to people and let them try FPV. And flying a quadcopter is sometimes just so difficult to do. So Emacs, I've said it before, I'll say it again, is the most um, <laughs> dedicated in this entire hobby in order to getting new people interested in FPV, new people flying. And so this is kind of a gateway that we can use. Yes, uh, you have had the ability to kind of cobble something together, but there hasn't been an out of the box solution like this. I believe Zorro kind of showed off something similar to this to the tested guys like a year or two ago. That product never seemed to come to fruition. Emacs made it happen. Great job. I can't believe how cheap this thing is. You get the goggles, you get the radio, you get everything. Now, if you're already an FPV pilot, you can actually buy just these two pieces, the radio and the RC car. Now, this works just like any other FPV product. So you can change the channel on here with a little button and that will allow you to go to any channel. So if you already have FPV goggles, you can just buy these two. And the cost of that is like, 60 65 dollars so you can really just have this in your house let your kids do it let your wife do it let your whoever uh to be able to get them hooked on fpv and then maybe the next step is to get them into the easy pilot uh to be able to have a very nice easy experience at flying their first quad cop now a couple of notes this thing is sort of a medium sized car it's very close to the size to the of the wl toys k989 that i had on the channel before this is not as fast as that this if i had a guess goes like 17 18 miles an hour i mean it's a decent amount of speed it doesn't really look that fast in your house so that's kind of a good thing if you're going to use it inside because you don't want something that goes 50 miles an hour to crash into your um, walls i think the wl toys k989 goes about 40 miles an hour it's pretty dang fast somewhere between 35 and 40 um, so that's about twice the speed of this. Um, but when you're looking in the FPV feed, it really feels so much faster when you're driving around. It is a ton of fun. Really awesome. You actually have some control. Unlike that WL Toys, um, when I was driving it inside, it was a little bit difficult. Um, of course, that one's a little bit better suited to outside. Outside this one, <laughs> I'll put some footage. You know, It really doesn't look like it's going too fast. I mean, in the FPV feed, it still looks really cool, but you can see like when I go from in front of my house to the neighbor's house, it takes like, I don't know, 10 seconds with a quad, it would have took like a second and a half. Um, so, you know, it's not traveling quad speeds by any means, but I think that's a good thing, especially for beginners. So good job, Emacs. So great job, Emacs. Um, there is gonna be a host of activities that we're doing. Uh, Neil is putting on his giant track event. I think it's sometime in February or March. I'm really hoping that I can attend that because he has already stated that we are going to be having RC car races with this thing. So I was very happy to see this thing show up before that event. Awesome. Here's some footage. Thanks, guys.